Hi, this is Ben Fink from UK NetGuide, and in this video I'll be showing you some of the ways that you can bet on a boxing match using an online bookmaker. If you don't already have an account open with a betting company, then here are some pointers on what to look out for when choosing one to go with. First up, you'll want to check out the size of the bonuses on offer when you sign up. Typically, a bookmaker will match your initial deposit up to a certain amount, giving you twice as much to place bets with. Some bookmakers may limit this to the first £20, while others may offer over £100 free, so find out what you'll receive before signing up. Secondly, you might want to consider the special offers that are available with a particular bookmaker and decide whether or not they relate to the types of bet you'll be placing. For example, you might be able to get money back offers, enhanced odds or bonuses on multiple bets and these can greatly increase the value you receive. Lastly, you'll want to consider the range of markets available and the odds themselves. Not only will some bookmakers offer a greater variety of sports, they will also have a larger number of bets available on each event. Different companies will have the best odds at different times, which is why we recommend opening accounts with two or three of them and comparing the odds between them each time you bet. To save you the time and effort of comparing all the main betting companies, UK NetGuide has done the legwork for you. We've checked the bonuses and offers and compared the odds across a huge range of markets to put together our independent top 10 list of bookmakers in the UK. There are some well-known names and some smaller companies included in the list and it is regularly reviewed and updated as offers change. You can view it by clicking the link below now. To show you how betting on boxing works, I'll be using one of the most established companies around, William Hill. When you first sign up for an account, you'll have to fill in some standard details such as your name, date of birth, email address, phone number and home address. You'll also be asked to set a username and password and potentially a security question and answer too. Now I've already got an account here at William Hill, so I'm going to quickly log in before we go any further. Now that I'm signed in, I'm going to navigate through to the boxing section and click on the fight between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. This is one of the most anticipated fights ever between two of the best pound for pound fighters of the present day era and William Hill offer a total of 22 markets to bet on. The main choice to make and the headline bet is the result of the fight, whether Mayweather or Pacquiao will win or the small chance that it will end in a draw. Thanks to his unbeaten record, Mayweather is the bookie's favourite at odds of 1-2, to two, while Pacquiao is priced at 15-8. to eight. While you could just bet on this overall result, let's take a look at some of the other bets on offer to see if we can find better value. The market for round betting is essentially asking you who you think will win and in which round. If we look at the recent records of both fighters using a website called BoxRec, then it will give us a better idea of the likely outcome. Here we can see the results of Mayweather's fights. On the right hand side, it shows the result and the type of outcome with UD standing for unanimous decision, MD standing for majority decision, SD standing for split decision, KO standing for knockout and TKO standing for technical knockout. So out of the last 10 fights Mayweather has fought, eight of them have gone the full distance with Mayweather being judged the winner each time. A quick look at Pacquiao's last 10 fights shows us that eight also went to the judges' scorecards. Based upon this, and because I think Mayweather is the better technical fighter, 
I think he will win on points after going the full 12 rounds. If we head back over to William Hill, we can choose this outcome at odds of four to six, which is better than the one to two that you will get on Mayweather in the outright win market. So I'll click on my chosen result and I'll come up to my betting slip and enter my stake. Now I'm going to put 15 pounds on this result and William Hill shows my potential return as 25 pounds if I have chosen correctly. Hitting the place bet button makes it all official. Because Mayweather is the better technical fighter, the only way that I can see Pacquiao winning is by knockout or technical knockout, and William Hill gives me the opportunity to bet on this outcome. It has Pacquiao to win this way at odds of 5 to 1. So again, I can select this, come over to my betting slip, and choose my stake. This time, a £5 bet will give me potential returns of £30 and I'll lock this in by clicking the place bet button. Many of the other bets available on this fight are to do with the rounds in which the fight will end. If I had wanted to, I could have chosen a more specific time frame for Pacquiao to score a win by knockout. With rounds seven to 12 looking the most appealing at odds of 15 to two, because Mayweather is only likely to be vulnerable when he's a little bit tired. But I'll move on from round betting to some of the other markets on offer for this fight. An interesting market is the one for fighter knockdowns. Officially, Mayweather has only been knocked down once although that was somewhat on purpose as he had broken his hand during a fight and needed to pause and recompose himself. He has another unofficial knockdown to his name, although the referee rather contentiously called it a slip. Pacquiao, on the other hand, has been knocked down a number of times, including being knocked out as recently as four fights ago. Despite this, William Hill actually gives shorter odds on Mayweather being knocked down. While I suspect a knockout is highly unlikely, a knockdown could happen. But based on the stats, I would be more inclined to say that it will be Pacquiao who hits the canvas in some way. A five pound bet at odds of four to one gives me potential returns of 25 pounds if I've guessed right. Finally, we come to the punches landed market. Based upon independent analysis by a company called CompuBox, the percentage of punches that are landed versus the number thrown can be bet on too. William Hill are offering an under over market on each of the fighters, with Mayweather being quoted at under or over 40.5% and Pacquiao being offered at under over 27.5%. The Box Rec website we looked at earlier can help us decide upon our selections here too. Here's a look at one of their pages that details a particular fight, in this case, Mayweather's fight against Ricky Hatton. You can see that it has the CompuBox figures, which are the same ones that William Hill will use to decide the outcome of the bets in this market. So if we go through some of the most recent fights for Mayweather, we'll see landed punches percentages of 39, 43, 51, 54, 46, 41, 26, and 44. Let's now take a look at the figures for some of Manny Pacquiao's most recent fights. His punches landed percentages are 35, 37, 
34, 30, 31, 44, 43, and 29. So it would seem from this that both fighters are likely to land a higher percentage of punches than William Hill suspects. But you could, as I have done, look at the percentages of punches landed by their respective opponents in the fights we just went through. If you did, you'd see that the highest anyone has achieved against Mayweather is 26%, while the highest landed on Pacquiao is 32%. So since Mayweather has dropped below the 40.5% level in two of his last eight fights, and nobody has gone above 32% against Pacquiao in his recent fights, the under 40.5% bet on Mayweather seems to be the most likely outcome to me. A £10 bet at odds of 4 to 5 will net me a return of £18. And again, all I have to do to finalise the bet is click on the place bet button. So those are some of the popular bets that you can place on a boxing match. You could also combine such a bet into a multiple with other boxing matches or indeed events in other sports. I hope that you can now go away and bet on boxing with confidence. Remember, before you sign up with any betting companies, take a good look at UK NetGuide's top 10 UK bookmakers to ensure that you are getting the very best deal. You can click on the link below now to view the latest rankings. That's all for this video. I've been Ben Vick, and I'll see you again another time.